Они ходят вокруг. Вода, пиво. Боржоми. Good night, хороший ночь. При заходе в море сразу. Часть этой удочки. Или подите. Прежде всего. Тоз 34. Тоз 34. Что это? Это Тульская. 34. Е. были а, на, на передовые а, а, в этом отношении. А, 
we, we stand uh, on the edge of a historic change. Мы, uh, можно сказать, на границе исторического, uh, исторической изменения.
Over the last uh, 15 months, um, we have had many exchanges, uh, scientific exchanges, uh, student exchanges, and we confidently uh, expect to have many more. И мы надеемся, кстати, знаем, что у нас будет гораздо больше этих обменов. Yeah, test one, two, three. You want the mic here? That's fine. That okay. Fine. Okay, we're ready. Okay. Uh, Chairman Kovacs, what in general do you think was accomplished by the governor's trip here to the Magadan area? Председатель Кобец, что вы думаете, вы добились с поездки губернатора в ваш ваш облак? Ну, мы прежде всего считаем, что поездка его подвела итог работы, которая была проделана за полтора года. We think that um, his visit uh, brought to uh, completion or maybe to a certain step uh, that work that uh, we have been working on for the past year. И мы придаём этому визиту очень важное значение. And we are uh, taking this visit quite seriously. And we think it's quite important. наши люди и меня как председателя области полкома в Магадане и на Аляске губернатора Купера видимо спрашивают а как развиваются наши отношения Our people here uh, uh, direct questions to the Magadan executive committee and I'm sure they uh, your people direct questions to governor Cooper about how our relationships are progressing И если говорить о том, что мы уже успели сделать, то я бы оптимистично настроен. And if somebody was to ask what we've accomplished, I would uh, answer it in a very optimistic manner. Ну, многие проекты, в общем-то, находятся сегодня уже в реализации. Uh, many, uh, many of the projects that uh, we discuss are already being realized as we speak. Может быть, более энергично они сегодня осуществляются в развитии культурных связей, медицин между работниками здравоохранения, просвещения, культуры. So perhaps um, at this uh, time, uh, point in time, uh, the cultural contacts, the uh, contacts in health sciences and science and, and in uh, education are being uh, put through at a much faster rate. Несколько, кажется, медленно они развиваются в области бизнеса, торговли. One could say that uh, they are rather slower uh, in pace when it comes to business and trade. Но мы сегодня многого и требовать не можем, потому что мне думается еще до конца не развеян барьер недоверия между нами. But I think that we can't expect uh, much from it, more from it, because we still have a barrier uh, of trust that needs to be uh, overcome. И мне думается, что как раз вот визит Купера, он во многом будет способствовать того, чтобы этот мост не доверия больше был развеян и больше между нами было понимание друг друга, что мы надежные партнеры. And I think this uh, visit by uh, Governor Cooper. Uh, demonstrates that um, uh, our relationship between ourselves can be tr trustworthy, and he does demonstrate that uh, you're ready. We're ready to act uh, from a position of trust. Мы сегодня господину Куперу представили очень многих наших деловых людей, которые с большим пакетом предложений к нему обратились в содействии всяческом. We had uh, many of our business leaders speak to Mr. Cooper today and present him with. Uh, their proposals and what they would like to see, uh, how they would like to see the uh, relationship progress. Great. I think that should do. Спасибо. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. Is the car going to be a problem? The bus? <laughs> Looks good, man. He's always, always complaining about hair. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Governor, you're about halfway through your trip uh, in the Soviet Union. You visited the areas closest and perhaps 
that have most in common with Alaska. What are your impressions so far and what do you think has been accomplished so far? Well, it's clear that uh, people over on this side are very enthusiastic about the growing relationship with the people of Alaska. I just visited a school today in Magadan uh, where students from Soldotna had come uh, earlier in the year. Uh, they remember that trip very well. Uh, I think in the long run what we're doing here is going to be very significant. It, it's, it transcends uh, just trade. It's not just a matter of somebody making a buck on it. Uh, the, uh, the difficulties that we have are things like maintaining air links from one side to the other uh, and uh, trying to understand the Soviet economic system, which of course is very different from ours. They don't even understand ours for that matter. Uh, and that's going to take some time. It's going to take some understanding. It's going to mean that people need to come over here uh, and study their system, uh, as well as people from over here going over to our side and understanding ours. Uh, but in the, in the long run, I think uh, uh, most people in the state of Alaska will agree with me that this is important and probably important in ways that we don't even understand right now. What sort of uh, reaction or uh, reception are you getting and the Alaskans getting by the Soviet people? Well, we've received a, a tremendous reception from everybody that we've met uh, over here. Uh, I think the Soviets are just as enthusiastic and excited if, as we are uh, at renewing this uh, relationship that really used to exist years ago. Uh, we went, for instance, to a place on, on the uh, Arctic coast where uh, uh, Yankee traders had operated years ago. Uh, this side of the Soviet Union uh, uh, has had probably more, uh, uh, more American presence than has been the case on the other side. Uh, they, they tend to think kind of independently like we do in Alaska, and I think we've got an awful lot in common. One of the projects you were working on is the possibility of visa-free visa travel between native people on both sides. Did you make any progress or have any talks along, along those lines? We discussed uh, in some detail the visa, tr visa fee, uh, shit, do that again. Okay. Visa fee. What kind of progress or talks have you had about the visa-free travel? Well, that's a question that's going to, going to have to be decided at a national level, but I think that uh, we will have a border commission which will allow the relatively free travel uh, on both sides uh, by native people, and I hope in time we can expand that uh, to everybody in the area. Okay, I think that should do. Think of anything else you want us to ask? I don't know, that's I was going to talk to Shape. Okay. Ready. General, you've got a little more in common with the Soviet people than the rest of us on this trip. Can you talk a bit about your impressions and your meetings with uh, other Native people in the Soviet Union? Well, of course, I've been just excited uh, to come over and uh, visit with the Soviets since we've never been able to do it since I was a little kid. Uh, this, uh, some of the people that uh, I met in the, in the uh, Chukotsk region were people that had uh, uh, visited Kotzebue uh, when I was a little kid before they dropped the Iron Curtain on us. And uh, so it's, it's like coming home. The, the country's the same, the people are the same. Uh, it's, it's like uh, just expanding Alaska. One of the uh, goals of your trip was to talk about search and rescue in the Bering Sea. What sort of discussions have you had along those lines and what kind of progress are you making? Well, my discussions uh, have been with the uh, understanding that uh, that uh, there is uh, uh, there are discussions going on between the the U.S. Coast Guard and the Alaska Coast Guard and the search and rescue organizations of the Soviet Union, and those uh, those discussions will will uh, end up in a, an agreement that we'll work under. Uh, my my effort was to uh, to meet some of the people who I'll actually be working with in in uh, search and rescue operations, and get to know them, and to uh, uh, to talk about uh, future meetings uh, that we'll where we can work out details of working together. And they're, they're they've all been very open and uh, and understanding, and and are looking forward to uh, these future meetings. Why do you think it's important to have some sort of joint search and rescue operation? because we're already doing it. Uh, 
last year we were involved in, in one search with the, with the Soviets and, and also the whale rescue. So we're, we're working with them already, but we have no protocol. We don't know who we're dealing with. We don't have direct communications, and we need that in order to do the best job we can. What sort of reception have you gotten from uh, other Native people, given your rank in Alaska as the highest uh, military person?